From top tier Italian to seafood that's sought after nationwide, all the way down to tacos outside of Home Depot, we have a full list top to bottom of the best eight spots that you need to eat at in Delaware. And if you haven't, well, you're missing out. So if you're a foodie, or even if you're not, buckle up, because we're about to head on a flavor journey. First up, and these are in no particular order, I wanna hit up one of my favorite burger places in Camden. It is Restaurant 55. They've got some of the juiciest, tastiest, most mouth-watering burgers you're gonna find on the East Coast, nevertheless, in Delaware. Best part, they source everything locally, and you can tell. They're cooked to order creative burgers, too, with a different lineup every single week of specials. The beer is fantastic. They have so many different beers on draft, and that menu is always shifting as well. I know you need to schedule time to get over to Restaurant 55 for a date, a lunch, or whatever. Just go by yourself. Have a burger and a beer. But whether or or not you have gone there or not doesn't matter it's always worth a trip back restaurant 55 awesome restaurant so number two and number seven have a very strange connection that i'll get into later but number two is easy speak spirits now i want to call this distillery a hidden gem but really as of today it's no longer that it's not a secret anymore everyone loves easy speak located right off the milford harrington highway whether it's burger night on wednesday or they're having their own live band in it is a guarantee you're going to be entertained and well fed at easy speak and when we get into the menu the apps might be the only place you have to go whether it's the pretzels or their goldfish and I know I just said goldfish try them they're great then on top of that you get a mixed drink at a distillery that is custom made from the rum to the bourbon to the vodka and then some you have so many different opportunities whether it's their old-fashioned I'm a big fan of a nice classic Long Island or their orange crush so many options, get there, check it out. And again, they have a weird tie to number seven. Now we're heading up north for our next restaurant. And for my foodies that know the areas of Wilmington, you know that there is a restaurant on every corner that is worth going back to. I agree with you. And if we wanted to, we could do a whole video on just the restaurants up there, but I only wanna highlight two in this top eight. And one of them is in Newark and it is Firebirds Firewood Grill. Now this place is a hidden treasure. It's cozy, it's warm, it's just so inviting when you walk in, but it won't seem like it's a small hidden gem when you go to Google, because it's got nearly 2,000 five or four star reviews. No one has a bad experience here. The food is top notch, the steak is just ugh, and I mean that in a good way. And really everything on the menu is fantastic. I'm also a mac and cheese fan, and they mix some jalapeno in it. It just makes me feel like Christmas. I don't know what that means, but go to Firebirds. Now let's bring it back to central Delaware. If you're in or around the Dover Air Force Base, or you've heard or are a fan of the Dover International Speedway, Firefly, Right down the road is an Italian date night in a secluded, warm, romantic type environment. It's the Roma Italian restaurant and it's located just off an exit from Route 1 near the Air Force Base and it is Magnifique. Serving up some authentic Italian dishes here in Delaware that you'll rarely see in any state, nevertheless right in the capital city. Atmosphere is relaxed, it's a real calm, cozy environment, a lot of two-person tables so you can have that intimate date night. The wine is top tier, the bar that they have is fully loaded, and the pasta. I'm a lobster ravioli guy, my wife loves the knockies and the uh, caprese salad is a top tier one for her. But honestly though, no one I've heard from has had a bad experience at Roma. Everything on the menu is top tier, they're always shifting it up and I would highly encourage a date or a business event at Roma. For number five, let's move down to the beach area, specifically Lewis, one of the first towns you'll hit before getting to Rehoboth, Bethany, Dewey, and Fenwick Island as you move down the coast. And Lewis specifically houses so many different restaurants, variety from sushi and fine dining down to the just dive bar grills and great burger taco trucks. There's a lot of different options and I want to highlight one and it may compete with restaurant 55 for the best burger in our state. It's the Lewis Oyster House and it's a seafood haven for all my fish and crab lovers out there while also housing one of the best burgers in the entire state. It's also located in the historic section of Lewis, Delaware and it honors those time old traditions of the 18th and 19th century with oyster houses and bar taverns. It really has that inviting atmosphere that they're shooting for. 
The service is top notch. Everyone there is super friendly and the food, obviously. Whether you want a burger or an oyster, go there, the Lewis Oyster House. Number six, let's take a quick trip back up to Camden in Dover. My good friend, owner of the El Azteca restaurants here in Delaware, has some of the best Mexican you've had in your life. My favorite location is in Dover. It's just outside of the Home Depot and their drunken tacos and tequila is just mind-blowingly good. They have their own brand of tequila. It is absolutely fantastic, as well as their own draft beer. That's what you're asking for if you want a great beer or an amazing tequila. Pair that with the drunken tacos or enchiladas they have there and you have found yourself a absolute banger of a Mexican food spot. And hey, let them know I sent you. Maybe, maybe they'll do something cool, I don't know. Now we alluded to earlier that Easy Speak Spirits has a strange connection to this restaurant at number seven, and that's because you normally don't put bar and grill and fondue in the same category. But the owners of both of these restaurants have done just that, and now on the corner of Front and Walnut Street, just across from the Picus Building and the beautiful historic bank, you have an amazing top tier, aptly named fondue. Don't worry, my wife and I just recently tested this new restaurant out, and it is everything and more if you're looking for a great night out. The proteins that they provide you, the cheese dippers, my wife got a drink that had cotton candy on it. I mean, they are really pushing the limits and trying everything they can to be different and unique and I feel they've succeeded, giving you even the instructions of how to cook things properly on a cutting board at your table. I love the owners there. We've known them for quite a while. I have a great relationship with them over here at Loft and I highly suggest seeing both number two and number seven, but specifically on number seven, fondue. Now number eight, number eight special for me. Number eight really, uh, I haven't mentioned it before, but this one really shifted me. It was a late night, I won't say when or where, but it was at Starboard and it was about four or five years ago. And I remember my friends and I, we had gone to the Starboard for, for a drink, for a night out together. And over our talk and banter and a few drinks, I, I looked to my friend and I said, I'm hungry. And when we looked at the menu, you, you just kind of look for, hey, I'm having a drink, let me grab an app. And so I looked through the apps and I happened to choose the chicken tender. Now, normally when you choose the chicken tenders, what is that, right? That's the basic thing you order. You don't order chicken tenders when you're looking for a high class meal or something to excite you. You're just looking to eat. But when I tell you, I was not expecting the Starboard in Dewey, Delaware to have the best chicken tenders that I've ever had in my life. I'm not kidding. The ranch and the mustard, they serve it with is homemade. They bread it and cook it lightly in some amazing way right then and there when you order. And I consider myself a bit of a foodie, especially a Southern food lover. Chicken cooked in any way is on the top of my list. So for me to give this honor to the Starboard and Dewey is big and I mean it. And on top of that also, it's one of the best nights out. They just bought a pizza spot. They also have incredible drinks, nightlife, and they are the heart and soul and pulse of downtown Dewey, Delaware. So whether you're looking to party, have a night out, or you simply want to be blessed with the opportunity to have some of the best chicken tenders you've ever had in your god dang life, go to the Starboard in Dewey, Delaware. And that rounds out our eight best food spots here in Delaware, the 302. Looking forward for you to get in contact with us if you need anything for Delaware related services, real estate, or if you're looking for just a good place to go out on a date, you got our number here. Hit us up on our website to learn more. And as always, we're here for all things Delaware. New podcast is dropping August 1st called DED Coded. And we're looking forward to doing that right here with you on our YouTube channel. And we'll see you next time.